Paramount? You clever, clever little dogs. Jeff Fowler, the director of Sonic the Hedgehog movie, went on Twitter again to give us another major update on the movie that they will actually be delaying the film to Valentine's Day of the year 2020. Hashtagging it with no VFX artists were hurt in the making of this movie. Going with the reasoning that they don't want to stress out the VFX artists that have to rebuild this movie from the ground up on the design of Sonic. But I'm going to put my tinfoil hat on here and believe that they're actually doing more than just redesigning Sonic. Follow me here now. We all know the intense backlash that has gotten from the beginning when this Sonic movie was announced. From the poster to the way he looked in the trailer, leading us to get a fully redesigned Sonic that we don't know what he's yet gonna look like. But the amount of people that swarm the internet, the videos out there that is drowning out my video here, so leave a like please. I think really got the heads of Paramount going that man, I had no idea how many people actually cared about Sonic. So while I'm actually kind of bummed that we have to wait a little longer for the movie, it's a good thing that they're taking their time with this, not stressing out the artists who have to work on this movie day in and day out for the next few months. Can you imagine if your job was to stare at this thing and fix it for about nine months? Yeah, you thought you had it bad. This also gives the movie enough time to fix the other issues we had with it because from the trailer, Sonic wasn't the only thing wrong with it. You have to admit that the jokes in the trailer just did not land. Not even as so much as getting a little air out of your nose going, hmm. The only thing carrying this movie is the Jim Carrey character. And hey, he looks fine, but we all know that's probably gonna be the last five minutes of the movie. Hell, maybe even the last 30 seconds. Paramount is being smart with this and realizing, look, we gave this film a small budget. We didn't think people were really gonna care. We were just trying to make a quick buck off the character of Sonic. But if people care this much and if we're going as far as to redesign the character, let's go ahead and fix a few of the jokes in the movie, reshoot some things, add in more fan service, make it worth the audience's time because if you're going to put in your extra million dollars to make this guy look different, why not fix up the other little things that seem off with the film? It's just so unbelievable that we live in a time where the studios actually retcon things right before our eyes just because we didn't agree with it. In the end, I'm just going to feel so sorry for all the people involved with the movie if it just turns out bombing. I really hope it doesn't because I enjoy the character of Sonic and to see more sequels and what that world could become this really brings up my excitement level my main guess on what they'll probably add in is bringing in Sonic's friends like Tails, Knuckles maybe another big battle in there that's just really my speculation because a lot of people were surprised when they heard that they were going to do this redesign not only because oh my god fan backlash actually won but because it takes time for you to fix things but not really way back last year I actually got to see Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse six to seven months before it came to theaters I was super pumped and excited to see the movie but it was an unfinished cut and a lot of the movie honestly looked just like hand drawing or those weird 3d animations that end up becoming memes online the only parts of the movie that were actually completely done were the parts that they had ready for the trailer and that's the exact same thing this sonic movie had ready only the parts that they wanted to show in the trailer had sonic fully designed that's why it was so much easier for paramount to go all right fine let's just get rid of that stuff that we did for the trailer and since we're about to start up production on building the vfx for sonic let's just change this look so they actually have plenty of time to do it without really stressing out the VFX people too much. So this main move, I think, is to fix other elements in the movies, give it some reshots. But that's just my little conspiracy. It could all just be that they're fixing the design. But if they're really going into fixing this movie, I don't see why they wouldn't be fixing other things. What do you guys think about this? Are you happy that they're letting the people breathe a little bit and take their time with fixing this Sonic design? Or do you think, hell, just give me the movie even if it has bad teeth, Sonic? Anything and everything, go ahead and let me know down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3 cfilmreview as always, I'm Chris. Take care.